Hello everyone. I'm going to be doing a little bit of Mega Best gameplay here on Loco Moco Ruins while I talk about the patch uh, changes besides uh, Mega Beth herself. And there are a few major changes, mostly to Commandos. The first one being that, and this affects more than just Commandos, it also affects uh, a few Enforcers as well. That is that lunges um, are now affected by uh, speed modifiers, so you'll be slower if you if you have a snare on you, and you'll lunge faster if you have a speed buff. Which a lot of people are complaining about, that um, if you haven't snared, especially as a commando, you can easily get away by uh, using lunges. And so before this patch, it wasn't affected by snares. And now they are. I haven't been playing a lot of uh, Wascot lately, so, or any sort of commando, so I been focusing on Megabeth for the time being, so I cannot really say how big this change is. Uh, right now, I won't say anything about it, because it could be good, could be bad, who knows. So, um, I'll get more on that when I actually get some gameplay time in with Wascott. The other change, which I can comment more on, is the uh, there's a, a slight damage nerf across the board for all commandos. I think everyone got their damage reduced by about 5 evenly. I will say that I think especially early game uh, commandos pretty are they're a pretty strong class. I don't think this is gonna be a big deal for the most part. It's um like I said, it's five damage for each uh for each pro. And it shouldn't be too bad. I think it is a is a strong class and it'll be fine. For the most part. Uh the other big change was uh to Wascott's uh, uh his alt fire on his coin launcher, which fires uh it looks like bacon, but it's actually a mine that will slow you down and do like one damage. And before this patch, it was pretty useless. It lasted for like one second. Now they've tripled it to three seconds. And I've um, I have played a few matches of the Wascot, um, and I have used uh, made use of that. I think that's a really good change, and daily makes up for the other nerf to him, which was besides his damage being lowered in the lunge thing, uh, his stun got reduced by half a second. So it's only one second now instead of uh, 1.5, which again, that's I think it's fine, especially with the fact that you can actually snare people, make it easier to get away. You can also, it's going to be really useful for helping uh, set up some ganks. You can slow down f uh, fleeing pros, let your teammates uh, catch up if they're not uh, low enough for you to sol really solo them. And it's also I've also found it useful installing jackbots for a couple seconds if you uh, really can't engage them right away. So, and, yeah, that's about it for the uh, commando changes. The launch change does also affect uh, enforcers, uh, most notably uh, Cheston and the Veteran, as they both have melee weapons. They're uh, a bit slower anyway. I'm not sure if that's going to make their lunge slower to begin with. They have a slower default speed. Uh, I don't play a lot of the enforcers, particularly those two enforcers. Um, veteran is free this week. I played him a little bit. He's, he's uh, I'm not good as him right now. Not my favorite. I prefer Tank uh, so far as my uh, go-to enforcer. Uh, but he's definitely, I know he's definitely a considered a top pick in teams. If you can get his call his really changes the group dynamic. And I'm not quite sure how the lunge change will affect him. Uh, besides that, not a whole lot of other changes uh, going on. Mostly art revisions. I guess the big, uh, real big change was uh, adding Megabeth to the game. Uh... No, wait, there was one other big change. It was, um, how did I forget this? It was Snipers. A sniper both uh, sniper and uh, Gunslinger, they both got a change. Uh, sniper got two, and that was, uh, both had a considerable increase to their damage. About, I think, about ten points of extra damage added to their shots, which may not seem like a whole lot, but when you take into consideration uh, headshots, uh, it becomes a lot more uh, scary. And the Sniper himself got uh, his clip size increase. He now has six shots instead of four. Which means he can uh, keep going for a lot longer, and doesn't rely on needs to rely on much on uh, any sort of magazine endorsements or whatever he was using beforehand because he's got quite a quite a healthy clip now. Uh, still less than the gunslinger, but uh, he really doesn't need any more than that. Uh, I think the biggest re reason for this change is that sharpshooter is kind of a difficult class to balance because uh, the other classes you can perform, uh, you can still be of some use even if you're not good at it. You can uh, reliably kill bots, you can heal people, you can shoot at people. It's not too hard. 
with the sharpshooters, if you are not good at getting headshots, you are fairly useless unless you're very creative at using your uh, abilities. I know there are some, uh, they call them skill slinger or spell slinger builds, where you focus on gun flurry for the gunslinger and uh, kill people that way, but even that's only of limited use compared to someone who actually can get, uh, you know, pop off the uh, gunslinger's rapid fire ability and get some chained headshots off. You're, you need to not, you just uh, compare. So if you're a new player and the way rotations work, you might get stuck with being a, a sharpshooter. You try playing, you can't get headshots, and of course in this game headshots aren't lethal. So even if you do get a rare headshot, you're still not getting a kill either way. So you become a lot less useful than another bad player on a different class. So I understand the reason behind it. They kind of want to help uh, out newer players by making body shots hurt a little bit more. But at the same time, players who are good with uh, sharpshooters are going to really... I didn't find a problem with uh, headshot damage before this patch. Now with this patch, it's really dangerous. Uh, a sniper with uh, a lot of uh, points as offense can easily take you out in uh, two or three hits, depending on your armor or not. And how you've been investing your points into defense. So we'll, it remains to be seen how um, how it will pan out in the long run. Uh, I have a feeling that what they're going to probably do is the the biggest suggestion is uh, suggestion is to basically reduce uh, the damage that headshots do while increasing the damage of body shots, so that people who are still good with sniper will still do the same damage, whereas players who are worse off will uh, be able to contribute in some way by doing body shots. Some have recommended a sort of uh, what Team Fortress 2 did. Well, they had a charge bar to the sniper's uh, scope. Basically, the longer you stay, who, for those who haven't played Team Fortress 2, the longer you stay zoomed in, the more damage your shot will eventually do, up to a certain maximum. So even if you aren't good at getting headshots, you can still uh, one-shot people by you know just uh, waiting in the zoom for a while. Whereas if you're a better player, you can one-shot people by getting headshots. So that was how Team Fortress 2 did it. Um, I'm, I can see that being a potential for a future Sharpshooter Pro they added to the game, but I'm not sure that will be uh, enough for all of them. Um, and I don't think that adding uh, and just increasing body shot damage will be a perfect balance solution, but it will go a long ways towards helping newer players feel like they're contributing to the team, even though they can't aim for anything. Another solution I thought in mind, what I had in mind was, as the number of pros increase, they can eventually increase the number of free pros of 10, one, two from each class, so that players aren't forced into a role they don't want to play. Which, not just not just sharpshooter, but if you don't like defender, you don't have to play defender. But I think that will help the whole problem right now where, you, where a player gets uh, kind of gets stuck doing a role that they're not really that good at. I think that's probably a, uh, the best solution anyway. There's been a lot of uh, talking about what exactly Uber balances around. And of course, uh, in most cases, you you balance around the the higher level of play. But I think it's important to remember that there's not just one kind of balance. You have to consider, you know, entertaining players who are not as good, uh, just you know, making games fun, balancing around a certain uh, flow. Like right now, if you change Annihilator, you would change how long games take. So there's a lot of a lot of uh, plate spinning there. You have to keep in mind a lot of uh, different factors because it's at the end of the day, it's still it's still a product they want to sell. And if players, if you bounce around high-level play, but it's not entertaining for low-level play, they're not going to make money. You're not going to have a high-level play because they're going to have to stop supporting the game. So they have to work it out for them. They've been tweaking uh, sharpshooters uh, all throughout beta so far, so we'll get a good idea with the, uh, and we'll undoubtedly see more changes before the game releases. And I think, I think they're just experimenting right now. I know it seems like a very weird, a weird, unnecessary change to increase sharpshooter damage the way they did, but sometimes you have to do... The advantage of being in a beta is that you can do a lot of weird things and not have to worry about, you know, players quitting or, you know, your game being in shambles, because it's, it's a beta. Things aren't finished yet, so you can take a lot of risks that you could not take in a live environment. And I encourage you to do that. Like, right now, uh, Megabeth has her knockback on rockets. That'll probably get removed... It probably will not stay in the game. I would be surprised to see uh, some sort of modification to her, to her knockback on direct rockets uh, in this uh, upcoming patch uh, next Thursday. But 
it's fine. They, you know, we'll see how it works. Uh, see if it really is that bad because things uh, they test out a certain way. They sound a certain way on paper, but then you you know you give it a shot for about a week and you find out it's not that bad. And it could be that you know the knockback on uh, on the rocket launcher isn't that bad, and they keep it in for another while, or they they modify it somehow. It's a it's a good thing just to experiment and to keep uh keep seeing how things work while you still can, because once the game goes live, they gotta be a lot more careful and as to how as to how things work, as to how you actually balance things, because if things get too unbalanced, you'll have players quitting in droves. Which is why they've been, you know, sitting on the matchmaking for a while now. They say it's coming soon, but I think um, they kind of want to see how players are queuing, how players are responding to it, because you have the opportunity right now. Whereas once you put matchmaking in, you really can't take it out, because players will be accustomed to having it. I know it's kind of a uh, discouraging thing for players who want to play and just have fun, but you have to remember that this is not really a... You can have fun, but it's not the point of the of the Invitational right now isn't to have fun. It's sort of just to test out things and make the game the best it can be. So if you're not enjoying it, that's fine. You're not obligated to, you know, obviously you're not obligated to play it all. But And I don't want to tell you that, you know, if you don't like it, quit. But right now it's not a final product. Give it some time, uh, wait, and see how it goes uh, later on after they've sort of uh, gotten into more of the... I guess post invitational phase. They don't really call it beta, but it's I think right now it's an experimental phase at the very least. It's a more or less a beta for the sake of argument. And this game is uh, about wrapping up here. Um actually the gameplay itself wasn't much to speak of, just a me pushing aggressively into the left lane there, showing you the power of uh Mega Best rockets when uh pushing. And uh, this is an earlier play, so I need to show off a whole lot of her mobility. I'm getting a little bit better at doing her rocket jumps. I'd hope to show you uh, some of her rocket jumps in action a bit later. But I just wanted to go over the patch, uh, give my thoughts on it. Now I'm looking forward to the one we have on Thursday. So we'll go ahead and uh, wrap this up here. You can see the end of it, and I will see you all next time. Hi-oh, that's the game, folks. Hey, stay tuned afterward for Meet the Meat Sacks. When it